Goddesses, it's Sarah here with the Green Goddess. So I'm here uh, on my land. Welcome to this little lovely space. And I am looking here straight at some spruce trees that we have. So you'll see a nice big spruce tree here. A couple off to the side here that got their heads chopped off sadly um, because of the power line. So if you don't know what trees these are, these are spruce trees and today's video is going to be all about spruce tips. Have you heard of spruce tips? Do you know what they are? Do you know how you can use them for medicine and food? And I'm not talking like subpar not so delicious food. I'm talking about really good food. So come with me and let's go up to the spruce tree. Today is June 5th, by the way. So where we live in Northern Alberta, spruce tips are popping. They are just bursting into life right now. And in fact, I wanna show you on this spruce tree how depending on where you are, uh, which side of the tree you're located on, some of the spruce tips, let's actually start on this side. So this is the east side that gets the morning sun. And the spruce tips have pretty much already, in my opinion, they're past their prime. Okay, this, the tips here are what we're looking for, but they're going to look a little more light colored, soft and bright green when they're, when they're at their peak. So you'll see on, on the east side of my tree where the morning sun has come, there's the odd one. No, that's a cone. There's the odd one that's still kind of soft, but as we move over to the tree here, where it receives afternoon sun, you're gonna see, and this is the perfect indication that they're good and ready, you'll see these little papery husks or caps that form on the tip. You see that? That's a good indication that it's a new tip that's ready to be picked and used for food or medicine. Let's just have a look here. So these are the tips. So this is the new growth for the tree. These are its babies. You see? Come here and have a look at this one. So they will create these little every year the tree will form these little buds, these tips, and they will emerge into these lovely little tips here with those little caps on them. Okay, this is what we're after. So what you do when you find one that looks particularly wonderful and it's soft and kind of feathery feeling, really nice. Whereas the mature ones are pretty hard and pokey, like youch, youch. But these ones are nice and soft and then you can just pluck it off. And you could pop that straight in your mouth to experience the flavor and it will give you some inspiration to know how you might wanna use that in your food or your cooking or your medicine or your tea formulations. So let's talk about what this, these spruce tips are good for. Well, I'll start with what our family has used, used them for so far. So a couple years ago, we made spruce tip jelly and spruce tip jelly is probably one of the most renowned ways that spruce tips get used. Um, they, the jelly is fantastic for crackers and cheese. We especially love it with brie cheese, some sliced meats, that kind of thing. It's so good. Um, our family has also picked the spruce tips and simply put them in an ice cube tray and just 
poured water over it, froze them, and had spruce tip uh, in inside the ice cubes. And then we add it to a nice summer cocktail, like gin and tonic in particular. And it is so delicious. It gives it um, this lovely citrusy, um, refresh, bright green flavor. It really is an enjoyable flavor, you guys. If, if you're a little bit concerned, and I understand how it might be hard for you to think that, you know, some of this medicine that I tell you guys about, that, um, let's say dandelion, for example, you might be like, sir, it doesn't matter what you say, I'm not going to get behind eating dandelions. And I understand that. But spruce tips, trust me, I think that this is something that you could really get the hang of. So um, yeah, muddle this up in a cocktail or a mocktail over the summer with some, you know, mint, um, ginger beer, gin and tonics. In fact, spruce tips are um, a classic addition to Northern Ale. So you'll find that a lot in the Yukon. I'm not sure if our local brewery is using spruce tips in any way, I should ask them. Um, so it is often put in beverages. We have also harvested spruce tips before and chopped them up quite finely with a, with a chopping um, knife and um, put it in Himalayan pink salt and done Himalayan pink salt infused um, spru with spruce tips. And it's really delicious. Um, it gives your potatoes and your meat um, this really distinctive northern flair, this real lovely uh, infused salt which is lovely so you can try it in salt I have seen recipes and this year we're gonna try um, if I can break off from gardening we're gonna try spruce tip ice cream I can't wait we have a homemade ice cream um, maker at home and I would love to get this in ice cream I feel like the flavor of the spruce tips would infuse so well into heavy cream and whipping cream um, you could let it just sit overnight uh, and you could use that cream in in other baking too muffins or whatever just get creative um, what else have we done we oh you can also do spruce tip popsicles for your kids so you can make any type of uh, fruit popsicle like you typically might for your kitties and you can just put spruce tips right inside like you could you could chop them up or you could just put a whole tip right in the popsicle for them and the reason that's so good um, and one of the things that spruce tips are so fantastic for is that they're really high in vitamin C and so spruce tips um, are really good for you. They can be great for you when you have a cold, uh, lung congestion, respiratory stuff. Um, spruce tip makes really good medicine. So let me bring you to around to one of the main uses for this, um, which is tea. So you could harvest some of these and pop them in a in your tea strainer and pour boiling water over it sweeten it with a little bit of honey it's a really lovely flavor I promise you you guys would like it and I'm sure that your kids would too it's gentle it's um I, I really dare think that not many kids could complain about the flavor it really is so so beautiful um you can also dehydrate these so you, you know I we've talked about how you can freeze them um, you can use them fresh. You could chop them up and pop them in breads and things when you're baking. But, um, so yeah, you can freeze them, you can use them fresh, but you can dehydrate them. And then you can have a reserve over the winter months when it's cold and miserable and dark and gloomy and you just want a taste of spring. So we often will pluck these and throw them in our dehydrator. And then you can put a couple of these in your wintertime teas and it really is delicious and of course with that boost of vitamin C they make um, an especially healthy drink okay um, what else I think honestly you guys my favorite 
are those summer cocktails with the ice cubes. How easy for you to just go to a spruce tree, pluck 12, <laughs> and pop them in an ice cube tray and cover them with water and then save them for some really special cocktails. So great. Of course, me being the green goddess, um, using these spruce tips for medicine in, the, in, in body oils and salves and things like that um, is, is something that I do as well. So you can make a spruce tip infused oil and that oil is edible. You could put it on your salad dressings or cook with it or fry with it, but you could also use that infused oil and you could make a body salve with it or a body butter. So um, they say that because the tree has antiseptic properties to it, um, the tips, whether you do an infused oil and you use it as a body oil or as a salve, it's good for things like eczema and acne and cleansing wounds. And speaking of that, the other thing I want to show you, one of the main medicines of this tree, if you go to the trunk here, you will see, let's find one here. Okay, so let's find, you see this here? Let's get it in. <clears throat> In view here. So this is where we have removed a limb on the tree so that we could get around and mow. And you'll see that anywhere that the tree has a wound, what it will do is it will create a sap that is basically a way for the tree to heal its wound. It's, it will cover the wounds with that sticky sap. And this sap, over a couple years time, as it drips down the tree, <clears throat> it can be harvested because it, it gets hard and it turns into, here's a good one, let me show you this one. There it is. So look at how this one basically bled and healed itself. And then it created this lovely sticky spruce. Look at that. It's like a resin, like a sticky, they call this spruce pitch. And this spruce pitch can be used in salves and it's very healing. And what I find really interesting about nature is that I think what was really clever that our ancestors did and our elders did was they looked to nature to see what nature was doing to heal itself and to fix itself. And so when people observed that the tree produced this sticky sap, this this pitch and they they noticed that the tree used it for its wounds then people said hey I bet you we could do the same for ours so then they would gather this and they would put it in oils or salves and they would use it on wounds and lo and behold we find later that it does have these amazing healing properties to it so we look to nature for what nature uses to heal itself and then we mimic nature how neat. So you can go ahead and you can you can look on a tree and if you can find this dried up pitch, this spruce pitch, <laughs> which the bugs love, you can you can harvest that and you can make yourself salves. It smells beautiful too. The smell is so enticing. No wonder the little buggies love it. Okay? So that is another um, part of the tree that can be used as medicine. Apparently inside the bark, the bark inside the cambium is used as well for survival food in, in, in survival situations. So there's more medicine that I need to get to learn about this tree. But for now, um, I think that that's everything that I wanted to tell you about, about this tree, okay? If you have any questions, of course, please uh, pop them in the comments below. And uh, 
Let me know if you've ever used spruce tips yourself. Let's go back to them here. And if you have used them, what have you used them for? One last thing I want to mention is not to over harvest. So if you look at this branch, you can see every year when it grew, it created from the bud a, a branch. And so just be mindful when you're harvesting that you don't overdo it. We only pick usually from, from one, one area, one branch like this, maybe um, two spruce tips, three at the most, and then I'll move on to another spot and I'll harvest. You know, you'll have, you could, you could strip all three here, but then it's lost all of its growth. So you might take one and then you can move on and that's how we harvest. And you wanna make sure you just do it in an area that's abundant and has lots of healthy spruce trees, okay? So that's that. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful. Another backyard medicine that we have, and it is right now, right now is when you need to pick it. <laughs> June 5th where we live is when spruce tips are popping. And in some areas, like in the valley, in Peace River Valley, you might find it's too late. And you can use these tips anytime for medicine, you guys, but I think when they're the juiciest and the best is right now when they're soft and just have newly emerged tips, okay? So there you are, that's spruce tips. Well, I'll wish you lots of green blessings, goddesses, and hope that you can get out there and do some harvesting of your own. Get some spruce tips for your winter teas while you can. There's only a small window that you can harvest this every year, and now is the time. All right, green blessings to you all, and I'll talk to you again. Bye.